March 18, the breath of the soul. Pray without ceasing, 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. Prayer is the breath of the soul, the channel of all blessings. As the repentant soul offers its prayer, God sees its struggles, watches its conflicts, and marks its sincerity. He has fi his finger upon its pulse, and he takes note of every throb. Not a feeling thrills it, not an emotion agitates it, not a sorrow shades it, not a sin stains it, not a thought or purpose moves it, of which he is not cognizant. That soul was purchased at an infinite cost and is loved with a devotion that is unalterable. Prayer to the great physician for the healing of the soul brings the blessing of God. Pa prayer unites us one to another and to God. Prayer brings Jesus to our side and gives new strength and fresh grace to the fainting, perplexed soul. Christ our Savior was tempted in all points like as we are, yet he was without sin. He took human nature, being made in fashion as a man, and his necessities were the necessities of a man. He had bodily wants to be supplied, bodily weariness to be relieved. It was by prayer to his Father that he was braced for duty and for trial. Day by day he followed his round of duty, seeking to save souls, and he spent whole nights in prayer in behalf of the tempted ones. The night seasons of prayer which the Savior spent in the mountain or in the desert were essential to prepare him for the trials he must meet in the days to follow. He felt the need of the refreshing and invigorating of soul and body that he might meet the temptations of Satan, and those who are striving to live his life will feel this same need. He says to us, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Christ alone can make us capable of responding when he says, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. This means that every day self must be denied. Christ can give us the noble resolve, the will to suffer, and to fight the battles of the Lord with persevering energy. The weakest, aided by divine grace, may have strength to be more than conqueror.